Hello, hello, all you trainers out there. Welcome back to Shiro Shenanigans. It's time for another mini poll Monday, but today is actually also going to be sort of a mini update Monday. So as many of my regular viewers will know, I've been doing Pokemon TCG unboxings for somewhere between three and four months now, and I've been having so much fun, like probably a little bit too much for just unwrapping shiny cardboard. But I've also opened like a lot of cards. I, I make two videos a week, one long, one short, and I recently posted a photo on my social media of all the cards I've gotten just in the past two months or so. And that's a lot! So something had to change. When I first started this channel, the goal was absolutely to open a butt-ton of cards. I just kind of didn't realize that it was going to be quite so many. And it's not going to be changing that much anytime soon. I'm still going to be opening cards. I mean, anyone who's, again, been following me has seen the collection that I've accidentally amassed. Because I keep going, oh, that'd be cool to open, that'd be cool to open. And then I don't open them all at once, so I'm, I'm not filming as much as I am collecting at this point. So I've just got a whole bunch of unopened inventory to still go through. So I will still absolutely be doing openings. But I had also intended to share, like, art and show off craft ideas and such, as well as review with some just Pokemon products in general. Um, and so far, aside from the people who have bought or won things from me, no one's seen much of anything different than just the card openings. So... From now on, maybe not immediately, content like that will be working its way into the channel as well, likely taking up the either Friday or Thursday or whatever day stuff tends to go up. I know it kind of bounces back and forth between the two. So it'll likely be appearing in that slot, the later in the week slot, with mini poll Mondays uh, not really likely to move. It's going to stay there. It's going to stay most likely weekly. Um, if I keep having issues finding the little stuff at the dollar store, just because it's been so popular lately, um, it might go to monthly or fortnightly or something like that, which isn't just a game, it's two weeks. <laughs> but um, Mon Monday mini pulls or mini pull Mondays will still definitely be a thing. So there will be some card openings pretty much consistently as well as the larger ones. And again, that won't be changing immediately. Um, I don't have any art built up right now aside from just sketches here and there. Um, I have the art that's actually the background for the intro that has like a Cinderace and Zero Aura that I can show, but I plan on actually doing like the the stream style where like you can see it you know, sketch to completion how it goes. So it, it'll be a little bit something like that. But beyond that, I also plan to start using my social medias more regularly, including platform specific giveaways and art sales. So if you want to be a part of that, you can find me, and this is going to be a bit, little bit of a litany, but you can find me at Twitter under Shiroku. Facebook at facebook.com slash Shiro Shenanigans FB, and that's with only one S because somehow they thought that Shiro Shenanigans FB with the S at the end and the beginning existed already. Which it doesn't, but it's Facebook, what can you expect? Um, and then both on Tumblr and Instagram under Shiro Shenanigans spelled the way it should be, which I'll have it on screen so you can see all of that. Um... That's it. I think that's it for those. Um, and both of those two, the last two, um, the, the Tumblr and the Instagram, are empty as a recording. But again, that's the whole plan is I'm going to start using the social medias a little bit more, start talking to you guys a bit more outside of just the comments. So if you want, you can find all those down in the description below um, and follow me there. And again, there's going to be some stuff that's going to be exclusive to those. But for the most part, nothing's going to be changing that much, and what is changing will be changing slowly, so you don't have to, you know, suddenly get used to a whole bunch of new stuff. I don't do new stuff well. I imagine my followers are very much the same. So, it's going to be pretty chill. It's going to be pretty much the same as it has been. But now you have all the info that I currently have. But, but eh, whatever, that's enough. Enough babbling. We've got other things we need to do, because it's Monday. So, I'm very excited about this. I found this at a local card shop. Uh, Saturday, I think? Um, it's a little beat up, and I did open it in the car because I got too excited for the binder. But the reason I got excited about the binder is because Detective Pikachu and watching it with my siblings when it came out was actually the thing that got me back into collecting specifically, like, the cards again. Um, and then there was a little bit of a break, but I went out of my way to finish the entire set for Detective Pikachu. Oops, hang on. I got other stuff in the way, and I already forgot about it. How sad is that? There we go. Um, so I actually ended up going out of my way to collect every single card from Detective Pikachu, including that stupid Bulbasaur that didn't show up in Walmart when they said it would. Um, which, if anyone had any inclination of trying to finish this set, that's a, a big issue you're gonna run into, is Walmart was supposed to get an exclusive card that they never got, um, at some stores, and the stores that did, employees started stealing and selling, selling them at ridiculous prices, which is just crazy. And then this is the last card I ended up getting. 
which is from a set my brother got me, and he didn't even know that that was the last card I needed, was this Pikachu with a little scrunchy face. But anyway, I ended up collecting the entire set, going on my way to do so. Um, it's not a huge set, it's not exactly a challenge, but it felt like an accomplishment at the time because I'd never completed, you know, I don't have a master set of any set whatsoever. So when I saw this at my local card shop recently, um, even though the package was a little beat up and it has two packs of cards that I won't be opening because I already know what they are, it did come with this little binder, which is very exciting. It's a cute little Detective Pikachu binder. It's got um, some some lucious pa loose <laughs> loosish pages, um, but they're no worse than the ones in the binder I just showed you, which was actually something a uh, GameStop employee gave me after a, a trade and play event. Um, but this way it'll free up space in that binder. I'll have my master set in a matching binder for it. I just think it's going to work out really nice. But I figured we would take the one non-Detective um, Pikachu pack in there. Again, the packs will either be included in a giveaway or put up on my site at some point. Get the code card out of the way. Um, so it comes with two of those. It comes with a little card about goodies for her official merchandise. I'll uh, leave the promo card in there for now just so I can get it sleeved up later. So it's got two Detective Pikachu packs and we'll toss those aside. And we will open the Burning Shadows. Leave the coin as well. The coin is a cute one. I do have this coin already. Just a little hat. And it's like super shiny and it's almost um, pixely, kind of. The type of hollow that it has. It's like a bunch of little squares. I just really dig the way that looks. So we'll open the sun and, sun and Moon Burning Shadows, and then uh, just because this is literally the only set that I could find at the dollar store this week, we've got some Sun and Moon Base Pack to open, too. So I tried to get one of every art. So we've got the Decidueye, Incineroar, um, Primarina, and the Solgaleo. And I do find it odd that they would have Solgaleo and not Lunala. But I don't think they have art packs that tend to have more than four. Like, I think three is the minimum, four is the maximum. So I'll move that binder aside so we can push the cards over. Oh yeah, and we are filming on the new mat now, too, because we got that during the stream. We'll be able to go back and forth between the Marnie mat and the the Ditto As mat. I like both a lot, so you'll be seeing both. It's not going to be just one and done, and then change it up, and it's gone forever. That would suck. So what we got in the first pack with our Solgaleo, we got a double colorless energy, the crocheted polywag, and a Skarmory. It felt so weird, because when I was picking these up at the store, they were from a Lost Thunder box, which was not there last week, so we know that they are getting cards in at least. It's not like they've just suddenly hit a wall and when they went on sale for one cent everywhere that they were just gone. So Pokemon cards are still coming in. Sun and Moon is obviously older than the Sword and, Sword and Shield stuff, so stuff's still coming in. Um, it's just a matter of people getting to it when they can get to it, and on Saturday, <laughs> I just missed out. That's all. So, we got that Fire Energy, Chinchou, and a Makuhita. I do enjoy uh, seeing what people have been pulling from these, like on Reddit and such, but I assume that that's why they've been hard to get a hold of, is people have been posting the amazing pulls they've been getting. And then more people go out and buy them, more people post pulls, etc, etc. So there's just not a lot of them in store to obtain anymore. We got Lily, Dratini, and Spiro. But yeah, I was saying it felt so weird in store pulling it from a Lost Thunder box, but it's just regular Sword and Shield, or Sun and Moon, which is older anyway. It's just odd. Alright. And a Pokemon Catcher, Carvana, and two Cannons. So, nothing super spectacular, but the last pack did have a rare in it at least, which is not super common just because of the setup of those cards. And then we'll open that one Burning Shadows as well that came from the Detective Pikachu set. So I know this is a mini pull Monday, and because of the update at the beginning, it ended up a little bit long. So I might put a timestamp at the beginning for y'all to skip to this part. And I guess if you saw it, you know it was there. And if you didn't, then I totally forgot. Whoops. Alright, we got Lightning Energy, Metapod, Simiseer, Porygon 2, Tangela, Ralts, Rhyhorn, Hoot Hoot, Meryl, a Reverse Hollow Morlow, and our rare is a Toxicroak. I think I have that one already, but I do still very much like the art on that. It's just very clean and neat. I'm using its uh, attacks like that. I do like when the art is actually 
you know, in action instead of, like, as opposed to this two canon, which there's nothing wrong with this art. It's just, he's sitting there, having a good, kind of grumpy looking day. <laughs> but, so, thanks for sticking with me. I know that the card opening was only, like, a fraction of what the length of this video took up. But I appreciate you hanging out and paying attention or skipping, because like I said, that will likely be something that I include. Um, if you're looking forward to seeing all those cards that I posted earlier up in binders, let me know. Um, I will, like I said, be moving the Detective Pikachu cards from this guy into this little friendo. So that'll be up later to view as well. And let me know what you think I should put in that binder instead. I do have some you know the ex gx v v max all those fancy cards uh the rainbow rares and such so let me know how you would use this binder i'd say it has about i don't even know maybe 40 pages in total double-sided nine pockets each so i'm gonna try and find something fun to put in there because i think it'll be a really fun one to fill out eventually it's currently got japanese cards korean cards um, which are kind of hilarious because they're plastic and they're, they're like, pointy at the bottom. They, they were from fried rice. Or, I don't know. I'll get into it another time. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Keep being you. Keep doing what you do. And I hope to see you in the next video. You have a great day.